Helsinki proudly bears the title of World Design Capital for 2012. This temporary pavilion was created by university students and professors. It serves as a venue, meeting place and an information centre for design fans. Laura Alto is on the organisation committee for the World Design Capital. The programme of the World Design Capital uh, Helsinki 2012 consists of 400 different kinds of projects. Um, there are two types of projects that we have in our program. Uh, about half of them are different kinds of development projects where we put design is used as a tool to improve things, doing things better. And about half of the projects are different kinds of events. That includes the camouflage exhibition in the Chiasma Museum of Contemporary Art. The show is intended as a marriage of design and modern art, bringing together the works of 19 different artists and designers from Finland and around the world. Curator Levi Harpala wanted to bring together artists with questions and designers with answers. Some of them were totally relaxed and, and they, because they, they, have, they have tried that borderline several times before, but uh, some of them, they were really like, uh, what is going on? And, and they were totally in an identity crisis to doing this show and, and the new pieces for the show. Helsinki itself is a hive of architectural diversity, from the neoclassical buildings that grace the central Senate Square, to the Art Nouveau structures scattered around the city. and the functionalist designs dreamt up by famous Finnish architect and designer Alva Aalto. This is the headquarters of the famous Arabia company, which has been making ceramics since 1874. Many of the products are a part of everyday life in Finland. The Arabia art department, owned by the company, has design studios and material at its disposal. The designers that work here can design pieces for Arabia while working on their own projects. Heini Rita Huta is one of them. These ateliers, they, they have been in use since 1932. And so in this uh, atelier there has been somebody always <laughs> and working. And uh, so I think it's very interesting that it's also kind of a layers of artists because normally they leave just when they die. <laughs> the design district Helsinki comprises around 200 shops and galleries in the center of town. And this summer a design market is setting up shop in the central marketplace by the water. The organizers for the World Design Capital chose around 30 Finnish designers to take turns in presenting their products here. I think one important thing or one interesting thing about Finnish design is that um, it has always been for everybody. We haven't had a kingdom. There's never been a, a kind of like a nobility in Finland in, in, in the large sense so that design would have been only for the only for the rich or only for the nobility but ever since it has existed here it has always been for everybody and during the summer of course visitors to Helsinki can enjoy exceedingly long days at this time of the year in Finland the Sun only goes down for a few hours <laughs> 